talking with Serene about what I was going to talk about here. Um, an instant, a moment, an experience came out. So I'll just start with that, which was being at the reading practicum. I think it was, I guess it was last week. It was not the first time. It was not the first time there, but it was one of the times, and it was really tough. It was really hard, and I like a series of things happened. Not particular dramatic things, but just like I was just, am, are we doing this right? I don't. We learned so much in this reading class so far, and I don't know if I'm doing it all, you know. It's starting to get a little anxious about condensing the learning that's been happening into, on, on the ground, you know? Condensing it into the form of, of teaching. Um, and, and I'm learning and getting a deeper understanding of that with, with teaching, it really has such a balance between theory practice. Like the, the nature of learning is that you learn about ideas and concepts usually in order to put them into some form. And so there's this balance or, or question as to what's the bridge between the two. And it reminded me of a metaphor that, not, no, not a metaphor, a, a visual that we had been given when learning about our field placement. And it's gonna start out with a really small M. Right? A really, no, yeah, really big, big M, huge M, big mentor, <laughs> and little I, in turn, is a very small role. And over the course of the year, the upcoming year, that's going to shift to the point where the intern is gonna take over, take a much larger role in terms of being on the ground doing stuff. And the, this summer has made me think about, you know, we've been learning a lot of, we've had a very big T, very big theory. We've been getting a lot of ideas, um, talking a lot about ideas. And um, we have been doing a lot of hands-on stuff, especially in math and in reading and doing some of the practicum and like doing some activities with, with blocks and stuff. But we're learning about those things in a theoretical way, kind of. You know, it's like our practice is, um, sharing that. So while while using the blocks and learning from from you know digi blocks and base ten blocks is a is a material thing. The I I'm thinking of the practice as taking that learning that we've been doing all summer and condensing it. I was thinking of a metaphor that I was gonna do dramatically or something like get a get a pitcher of liquid. Where was that big bottle? There was a big bottle right here. Right, imagine pouring all that power right into a thimble. I mean, when the practice is very small, you know, a lot of it's a lot of the theory is going to spill out, and you want to make sure that you catch, the, like, which droplets do I want to get into this like one hour reading practicum, and which, and and then am I going to spend most of my time focusing on like, oh, all this spilled and all that spilled and all that spilled and all that spilled, or am I going to focus on like, this is going to be a delicious thimble. <laughs> and um, so, so partially, it's it's a learning about myself, but it's also just a general perspective on learning about teaching and learning about learning. That, that yeah, all right, that's good. <laughs> How am I going to do that is the question. How am I going to deal with that? That's the answer. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just excited that you, that you, this big idea that learning is an intellectual activity, that it is informed by values and ideas and purposes, that it isn't just doing or technique or recipes. So I think we have a year-long internship to help you develop a practice that's principled and informed by values and purposes and ideas. But, you know, and I, I love the analogy between big M, little M, and big T, little P. I think that's a terrific analogy. Um, but it's also exciting that you're so mindful that this is a complex practice and it, it needs to be informed and infused by lots of understanding and also serendipity and, you know, um, you're into 
intuition too. And I think another, um, I mean, I love the image of this thimble that's sort of overflowing and also the concept of um, as a learner, or really, I think, I mean, we're all learners, I consider myself a student of teaching, for sure, and, um, and to how do you, what's your perception of the symbol, and are you looking at the fullness of it and the richness that happened, or are you thinking about the things that spilled out and where is the time and place to do both of those, and the, the balance between them? Well, and just to follow on that, I loved your image as well, and I was thinking as we're talking about condensing, I was thinking that in my mind I think of it a little bit more as integrating, and I'm imagining that somehow as you get more practice doing this, that you, um, I imagine that you'll be able to integrate more of the ideas and the theoretical and the, the intellectual that you'll be able to integrate into your practice, that it might end up feeling like less is spilling over the edges of the thimble, but that you'll be um, kind of having that experience of integration. I didn't mean to imply that it's always going to be a thimble. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've often thought of a, that when I think about Delit and actually what we do, I think of it as a um, piece of weaving. And what, what we're doing is we pull out the threads so that you can look at each thread. But then by the end, the, the job is to reconstruct it so that there is this beautiful, elegant piece that you know isn't in separate parts, but that it all you know creates this beautiful tapestry.